So this skill is all about troubleshooting load balancing. And we're starting off here in the big IP. And what we're doing is we're doing some virtual server verification. So if we go over here to our local traffic, go down to virtual servers. There we go. We'll let this load up and let's just pick one. Let's go with our HTTP app one virtual server. Now we can do this here, of course, in the configuration utility or web UI, or we can do it via the terminal. Now let's bring the terminal up here for a minute and I'm connected into the big IP. And the command I want to use is TMSH show LTM virtual. And then I want to enter my virtual server name. So let me go back to the config utility. Let me grab that server name there. Go back to the terminal and let's paste that in. Now I'm going to hit enter and we're going to get some information about our virtual server because we're troubleshooting load balancing. So here we want to make sure our virtual server is online and available, of course, and we want to verify its configurations. So here we can see the availability. It is available. The state is enabled. So it's up and running. The destination IP address here, we can make sure we have the correct virtual server IP and port number, which is very important. And as we scroll down, we can see some traffic information. So here we see our statistics. So we can take a look at how much data is being processed, if it's working at all. Uh, that's very important information there. And as we come down, you can look at some other uh, information like our SIN cookies, if we're using that message routing framework and our CPU stats. So we can see if there's any problems with that. However, we don't see anything like our profiles or any policies that are enabled in here. So that didn't help us when it comes to verifying our policies and profiles. However, we can, let me clear the screen here, hit the up arrow command, bring up the original command we ran. We can add in here policies, just like that. Hit enter. And if we have any policies on our virtual server, they're going to show up in here. And we really don't. However, let's go ahead and clear the screen again. Hit the up arrow command. Instead of policies, let's put in here profiles. Because we do have some profiles on this virtual server. Hit enter. And there we go. Now let me go back to the top here where we started. There we go. This is our virtual server. And of course, we see the same information as we scroll down. But then you'll notice we have our profile. So here it shows our HTTP profile and it provides us some information, some statistics about that. So we can see which profiles are on this virtual server. And as I scroll down here, we also have our TCP profile. Super. So that's the command we can use. Let me clear the screen here and bring that command up again. And that is our TMSH show LTM virtual. And then we have our virtual server name. And you can use in here uh, keywords, policies, or profiles to do some initial troubleshooting via the terminal. Now let's jump back to our config utility. Here is our virtual server, our HTTP app one. What we want to do in here is we want to verify some things, right? If we're having problems with this virtual server and load balancing, maybe persistence is causing a problem. So then we'd want to come over here to the resources tab, click on that, and we'll let this load up. And we want to check our default persistence profile and our fallback persistence profile because maybe we have two of these set and they are different and our default persistence profile isn't working right so it's falling back to the secondary and well that could be causing us problems so we definitely want to check our default persistence profiles then we're going to go back to our properties here we're going to let that load up here and then we're going to check for something called a one connect profile now a one connect profile let me scroll down it's all the way at the bottom under acceleration and when we come down here to our acceleration, we see our one connect profile and there's none selected. And we see it's under the acceleration and that's because the one connect profile is used to increase network throughput. And it does this by using HTTP keep alives to keep connections to our backend servers alive. And then when we have an idle connection, so if I had one server that was idle that already had a connection, well that connection can then be reused for a new inbound connection. So that way the whole TCP three-way handshake and session initiation, all that stuff doesn't have to happen again. And we can basically just borrow that session and use it for a new inbound connection, which is actually a pretty cool idea. And that's what that one connect profile does, but it could cause problems. So you need to rule that out during your troubleshooting. 
All right, so that's our One Connect profiles. So let's go back to the top now. Something else we would definitely want to verify in here is verify that, hey, we have the correct IP address here when we look at our destination address mask and, of course, our source address and make sure our service port is correct because if we have the incorrect port in there, it's not going to work. And then also we want to make sure that it is available and enabled, which it is. All right, super. And then we want to scroll down and take a look at our profiles. So here we see we have a protocol profile of TCP, which we saw in the terminal. And our HTTP profile on the client side is set to HTTP. And the server side is also using it because we have it set here to use client profile. Super. And we'd want to come down here and see, are there any other profiles that we have enabled that might be causing us problems with load balancing? So this is how we need to go through and troubleshoot when it comes to virtual servers. We're taking a look at the profiles that are in place, any policies, we're double checking settings, we're looking for things like persistence and the One Connect profile. And then we want to, of course, verify that our health monitors are working properly. And we do see that it is available down here uh, when we look at our availability, which means there's health monitors being used. So we can go over here to monitors and we could then, once this loads up, we'll see a list of all of our monitors here. So we can click on like the App1 content monitor or the App1 HTTPS. So if I click on one of these, we can verify which virtual servers or pools that are being monitored by this monitor by clicking on the instances tab up here and this loads up it's going to show us what's being monitored by well this health monitor so here we see the http app one pool and its members in here are being monitored and of course they're all green so there you go that's how we can go ahead and check our virtual server settings, policies, profiles, health monitors to make sure that they're all functioning properly and to make sure we don't have something misconfigured. Thanks for watching and subscribe here to get the latest from CBT Nuggets. And if you're interested in IT career or learning more about IT in general, hey, swing by cbtnuggets.com and sign up for a free trial.